not exactly a story, but a conversation. And the conversation between the red and the child, the Rebbe says, as with this, this uh, 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 fictional uh, theoretical conversation. This is Yudmei Stambul's 1976, I remember the Fabrengen. Uh, this was when the Rebbe came out then, you know, one, with one Mifza after the other. And this, I think, was a, when he speaks about mif, Mifza Tzedakah, and he's talking about our children. It's connected to Hanukkah because, I guess, because of Hanukkah guilt. It's one of the things, uh, Hanukkah is Chinuch. We give Hanukkah guilt to our children to educate them giving Tzedakah, not to give it all away, but part of it and so on. So here, fascinating conversation. I'm going to translate it word for word. The Rebbe says like this. We see one of the most difficult things to, to affect on a child is to give something that belongs to him to somebody else. So a child gets some coins or a dollar. And we say to him, listen here. Give it to the doctor. And who should you give, give it to? Someone you know, a friend? No, there's a poor person. You don't have to give him anything. You never saw him, but you heard that he needs money because he doesn't have panasa. So take this money that you got as a, as a, a reward, money that you worked for, perhaps as a prize and give it to this fellow and don't ask anything in return. So this is a very great test because it's the opposite of the nature of the child. We're born selfish. So we tell him that this is one of the mitzvahs. And not only that, it's a very big mitzvah because it's compared to all the other mitzvahs. Says the child, this I cannot do. And the proof is other things you were successful in uh, having an effect on me. I say Shema Yisroel. I say all the Psukim in my mother Chazal. And I, the quotations from Tanya came out then with the top Psukim. And I affect on other children, they should also do as I do. But now you're coming out with the Miftat Tzedakah. Here we're hitting a roadblock. So we tell them he's one of the ten Psukim. Lo ya gaita o matzos al timing. If you didn't toil, Person says, you didn't toil and you still found, don't believe the person. It's a, it's a sign you didn't toil yourself. This is, in other words, an answer to his question. This means you haven't toiled. It doesn't mean you can't do it, chas v'shom. Because you are, you are one of Hashem's plants in which Hashem takes pride in you. And you have to make for Hashem this world a did it And that means that in any place where you are, you have to make that a did for Hashem. And therefore, if you have money and you don't want to give it, so how is Hashem going to have a dwelling place in that place? So the kid cries out and says, if so, why is it all the other things that I did, I did with Simcha? And this, we tell him I have to do it because I have to make Hashem, a dinner for Hashem. Here I'm having this, this, great, uh, this great obstacle. So therefore we tell him, Lo ya gaita matzosa al -tamin. If you didn't toil and you found, don't believe. There are some things in life that require great effort and some things that require less effort. And there's something that needs, that needs supreme effort. But since this is a mitzvah in the Torah, and this comes to you with great difficulty. So this itself means that you have the ability to, to, to do this, to overcome. And it says, Boradov, it's absolutely certain that there cannot be anything that Hashem would give you that lo ya gaita v'le matzasa, that your gaita you toiled and you didn't find, not so. But if you're putting the effort and I know it's difficult, you're acknowledging and empathizing, it's very difficult. But Hashem is giving you the koyach and you can certainly but it's also you can uh, be successful. So it's a major thing. I'm saying two things here. 
that we're telling a child, ultimately, why do you do something? Because Hashem needs it from you, because this is how you will make this moment in your, this place of dira for Hashem. And it's very difficult to acknowledge that. It's very hard to do this. But you should know you empower the child. Hashem has given you the kaya to do so. And if there'll be the yogaita, there'll definitely be the matzasa. This, my friends, is him. Have a wonderful day. So tomorrow, Mitzvah Hashem on Zoom, we'll, we'll post it all on the, on the uh, chat.